Okay, my computer ran out of battery there. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, I lost you. We're back. Um, okay, so I had taken the derivative. Let me simplify this a little bit. Okay. This is great. Pen's dead. Hang in there. Charging it. Um, so when we simplify this, we're going to retry direct substitution. Um, I'll give you a little spoiler here. We're going to get 0 over 0 again. I know it sounds crazy. But guess what? You can do a double L'Hopital. You can L'Hopital the L'Hopital. It's insane. I know it's crazy, but we're going to try it. So let's simplify this a little bit. Uh, I got negative 2 sine of x plus 4 sine of 2x all over sine of x. So if I plug in 0 for a direct substitution here after I be tiled, I get 0 over 0 again because sine of 0 is 0 in all these instances, so everything's 0. Um, so we're going to lopi tile a lopi tile. You can do it again. It's crazy. It's a double lopi tile. Double lopi tile. It's insane. Here come the announcements. All right, I'm pausing this. All right, announcements seem to be over. Um, so let's take the derivative. The negative 2 comes along for the ride, cosine of x. 4 comes along for the ride, sine, I'm sorry, cosine of 2x. Don't forget the chain rule all over cosine of x. Let's try direct substitution again. Cosine of 0 is now 1, so I'm getting negative 2 um, times, yeah, so that's negative 2 plus if I get a cosine of 0 again there is 1, so 4 times 2 is 8, so negative 2 plus 8 over cosine of 0 is 1. I'm getting 6 over 1. Um, so I get 6, so it's a double L'Hopital worked. Um, so if you do L'Hopital and you still get indeterminate, you can do L'Hopital again. The real question is, can you do a triple L'Hopital? I don't know. Let's see. Maybe, the, oh, no, we're just going to do some practice. I bet you can do a triple L'Hopital. Yeah, you can just keep L'Hopitaling until you get an answer if you need to do that. Uh, I've L'Hopitaled as many as four times. Uh, I don't know if anyone's done five. Nobody I know has done five. Maybe Hill. Hill is crazy. He might have tried a L'Hopital five times, but I don't know. That sounds crazy. All right, so um, let's see how we do limits at infinity. So um, we're going to kind of try to remember how we did this earlier in the course. Um, we had here, there's a couple ways you can go about, about it. You can divide everything by the highest power of x in the denominator. I kind of gave you options. So if I divided everything by the highest power of x in the denominator and then simplify, uh, what do we get up there? We get 4 minus 5 over x squared over 1 over x squared minus 3. Uh, so if I plug infinity in here, I end up getting negative 4 thirds because when I plug infinity to this, it goes to 0. This goes to 0, so it was negative 4 thirds. Um, the other thing that, the other way we said to do it was if you understand uh, your horizontal asymptotes and that x approaching infinity means n behavior, horizontal asymptotes also mean n behavior. So when the degrees of the numerator match the degree of the denominator, it's the leading coefficients. So you've got your 4 and your negative 3 here because the horizontal asymptote is negative 4 thirds. I don't care which way you do that. The other way is a lot more explanation though. Um, so that's what we're saying over here. I'm not writing all that out. Um, I just I was charging my pen while I was saying it. We're not going to write it. It's going to make this video too long. Um, so let's move on. The point is that that's considered indeterminate when you originally try it and get infinity over infinity. 
right? When I plug infinity in here, I get infinity squared times four. This whole top is just infinity. It's just blowing up. Same thing on the bottom. It's blowing up to negative infinity. No, positive infinity. No, sorry, negative. Because times the negative three. So that's going to be an infinity over negative infinity. Uh, that thing is indeterminate. So we can try L'Hopital's rule here and then try again. So I get um, the derivative of the top is 8x minus 5. The derivative of the bottom is negative 6x. So now if I plug infinity in again, I get uh, up top I get infinity. On the bottom I get negative infinity. So I'm going to L'Hopital it again and see what happens. Uh, I get 8 on top over negative 6 on the bottom. So I get negative 8, 6 is my answer. Whoops, I want to reduce that because we know that the real answer that we got earlier the other way is negative 4 thirds. All right, so um, again, we can use L'Hopital's on this. Um, it's the same idea. I know that because of horizontal asymptotes, when the degree on top is smaller, the limit is going to be zero. Uh, again, this is for, we know we want to do horizontal asymptotes when it's infinity or negative infinity. So this answer is going to be zero. We can do L'Hopital to show that. So as x approaches infinity, um, so I'm going to go 5x squared minus x over 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x. I'm going to get infinity over infinity. So I can L'Hopital because that's indeterminate. 10x minus 1 um, over 9x squared minus 4x minus 3. If I plug infinity into that, I'm still getting infinity over infinity. So I'll L'Hopital again. I'm going to get 10 over 18x minus 4. If I plug infinity into that, I get 10 over infinity, which is 0, right? Because the bottom's getting larger and larger and larger. 10 is staying constant. That jives with what we said. I'm not going to write it out about horizontal asymptotes. So on this one, I had to L'Hopital twice again. So here's some more practice. How many more of these do we have? Good. Four. Um, so if I plug in infinity, um, I'm getting an indeterminate form here. Uh, so I'm going to L'Hopital it. In the numerator, I get uh, 1 over, oh, the pen died again. I'll pause the video. I get 1 over 2x times 2. On the bottom, I get um, 1 half times 2 is 1, x to the negative 1 half. So it's going to be... Um, let's see, let's simplify this. 2 over 2x over 1 over root x, which is going to be the limit as x approaches infinity of, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so 2 root x over 2x. So that's going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over root x. And then if I plug in infinity, I'm getting 1 over infinity, so that goes to 0. Um, limit as x goes to 1 half. If I um, plug it in, I get an indeterminate form, so let's start doing L'Hopital. So this is product rule. I'm going to get 1 times cosine of pi x plus, we copy the x, times negative pi sine of pi x all over e to the x. So then if I plug in my 1 half, that's going to be cosine of pi over 2 plus 1 half negative pi sine of pi over 2 all over e to the 1 half. So I'm getting uh, 0. 
negative pi over 2, uh, e to the 1 half. Yeah, so I'm going to get uh, a 0 minus pi over 2 over e to the 1 half. So if I simplify that, pi over 2 over root e equals root e. Um, let me see, that's on the bottom, I'm sorry. It's 1 over that, so it's going to be pi over it's negative 2. I forgot the negative there. Negative pi over 2 root e. That's the final answer there. Um, I'm not doing these last two examples. This video is in two parts. It's getting lengthy. And I have to go to a faculty meeting now. So we'll just do examples in class. That's Lopital's rule.